Opening a Photoshop first without having any knowledge about the software can be very frustrating and sometimes discouraging. So today I will take you through all the tools in the toolbar and also demonstrate to you how each one of them works. So let's get started. So let's begin with the move tool and the move tool in Photoshop is simply a tool that can help you to move your designs around. When you select the particular layer of the design, you can move it around on the canvas. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first of all, let me give you this hint. Anytime you import an image into Photoshop or let's say when you open an image in Photoshop, the layer automatically locks. So to unlock it, you just click on the lock on the layer and then the layer is unlocked. Okay, so once the move tool is selected, you just click on it like this and you drag it everywhere you want on the canvas tool. The shortcut for the move tool is V on the keyboard. Almost all the tools here are having a lot of tools in them. Okay, so this one, you can click and hold to get the other tools or you can right click on it to get the other tools also selected. Our next tool is the artboard tool. So with the artboard tool, when you want to do a lot of designs in a particular file, so comparing this one to that of the Microsoft Word, you have a lot of pages in Microsoft Word to work with. So bringing this idea into Photoshop, let me show you how you can do same. To create multiple canvas in Photoshop, make sure the artboard is selected and then click and drag. We have artboard 1. You can add multiple artboards by clicking on the plus sign and then it will be adding all like that. Control minus zoom out. Okay, so now let's move on to the rectangular market that is the next tool just under the um the move tool so right click on it like this and just select the rectangular market tool okay so that one to bring it on the canvas and then you click and drag to draw this kind of line yeah so this one it has selected the area within the light so you can right click on it and then you can use either layer via copy or layer via cut so when you use layer via copy like this on seeing the layer that you copied, you can still see the original layer. But when you use layer via cut, that is what it will do. So control Z to undo what I did. And then now let's do it layer via cut. So layer via cut. And then let's unseen the new layer we have created. As you can see, the new layer was cut out from the old layer. So that's how it works. So you can use the layer via copy or the layer via cut. All the tools in here works like the rectangular market tool so let me demonstrate the elliptical market tool for you to see so if you want to draw a perfect circle that one is very simple you just have to press on shift on the keyboard and then you draw like this and you get a perfect circular selection so you can do this that is you can do same with the rectangle that one too when you press on shift and you draw you will get a perfect square and then the other ones too, as you can see, single row marker to single column marketing. So it simply selects a single row and a single column respectively. So the next tool is the lasso tool. Select the lasso tool like this. And then this is what it is used for. In that one too, it is used for selection, but it's a free hand tool for any selection that you want to have. Yes, so and you close it like this yes and now i'll do the same thing okay so for our next tool which is the polygonal lasso tool it works like the lasso tool you know, so that one it gives you a free sketch in the form of straight straight lines so whenever you click and you drag whenever you click and you drag you click and you drag it gives you that straight line selection when you want to close the entire selection, press or control on the keyboard and then click on it and then it will close. So control D to the select. Let's move on to the magnetic lasso tool. And for now while it's automatically selects between two colors. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's zoom in slow. Yeah. And then when you bring it closer to the edge of the car, it is selecting automatically this one is not perfect for selection it does its own selection for you but some of the parts that it will select you may not like it and where you want it to select to it will not select so this one is not an advisable tool for selection okay so moving on to the next tool 
is the object selection tool and then this one we use it to select object from images so let's say i'll just select this car and uh, then i'll bring it on the car and then click on it like this and as you can see the car has been selected i have a full video on how you can use this object selection tool to remove any background in an image so you can check it out i will leave the link in the description or you can also check it out in my playlist we move on to the quick selection tool so let's undo what we did with the object selection tool by ctrl z to undo so the next on the list is the quick selection tool and then this one we need to select let's say things in order so it sticks color by color let me show you what i mean by that color by color like this if you want to reduce the size or increase the size use the square bracket the left square bracket and the right square bracket so you use them to increase and decrease the size of the brush and then go along with your selection I'll zoom in for effective selection and then you are good to go control or to fit screen control D and select and then let's move on to the other tool that is the magic one tool and then for this magic one tool it's going to be best explained when I use this example so this is a type icon over here once the magic one tool is selected make sure that the layer is unlocked so we click on the lock over here to unlock the layer and then you click on the white area inside the icon and you press on shift on the keyboard and you can see that plus sign it means you can add another selection so first you have press and hold the shift on the keyboard then you click on the outside i want to remove all the whites selecting the whites inside the icon does not select the other outside whites so to make that selection as well you have to press and pull on the shift on the keyboard to make sure that selection is done and so to proceed i'll press on the backspace on the keyboard to delete the whites on the icon and now the white background has been removed from the icon so this is what i was trying to demonstrate for you to see and then the next tool on the list is the crop tool and for the crop tool we have presets over here that you can use to crop your canvas and you can also use your own dimensions to change the canvas to whatever size you prefer so let's say in 10 by 8 and then you hit enter on the keyboard or you click on the check mark for it to be cropped moving forward is the perspective crop tool and for the perspective crop tool we are going to use the front glass of the car so you click on this corner like that down here also and then we stretch it all over to this place and then to the other end like that and we click on the check mark it has projected the front glass so that's how we use the perspective crop tool and then coming down here we have the slice tool but let me undo all these tools to get a full image for the slice tool and this slice tool is specifically made for web design yeah so when you make all the slices and then you export this image like this it is going to separate the slices in various forms so you as a web designer using your html and your css arrange the slices in the form that you prefer so that's how you use this slice to use to arrange them so that one you use it for the arrangements of the slices that you cut out so if you are not more into web design probably you will not use this tool ever in your life yeah for the show okay so moving forward is the frame tool and then for this frame tool, let me use this design over here to demonstrate to you how the frame tool works okay so for the frame tool let's make sure that we have the rectangular frame and let's draw let's kind of draw a rectangle on the screen like this and then let's head over to the properties and let's make sure the insert image is open so we open the insert image and then open here like that and place from local disk embedded click on it like that and then you go ahead and select any image that you want to paste into it import the image into it like this and we can resize it ctrl t on the keyboard to resize the image to fit right on the screen and then we can adjust how we can make it show up on the screen yeah then you click on the check mark when you are cool with it so this one you can do it with a clipping mask and i have a video in the description or you can check on my playlist about clipping mask 
if you are a beginner you don't know anything you can watch the video to understand and master commands if you are into photoshop already it is for you also because there are some tips and tricks in there that you may need a long way there are a lot of tools over here to talk about but this video is just a tip on the iceberg it's one out of lot of series of videos explaining all these tools to the very end so i would like you to like this video and subscribe and don't just subscribe but turn on that notification so that whenever i upload a new video will be the first person to be notified let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well click the video on the screen for the part two until next time guys quench let your creativity peace